Hey live. guys. Yeah. We are live now. Oh, cool. Right. Right so yeah, the the picture it just popped into my head, and then afterwards I was like, "Well, we don't have anything to paint. Like I don't have anything to paint, but <clears throat> I'm building." So I thought, "All right, well, we'll stream the building." But building live live building would, you know, th didn't really work out with the picture. So. Well, no, it's very funny, and it's the first time I, you know, <laughs> I looked at it and I was like, I got, I look quite slim there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Bob Ross's body and my head, so that's kind of like. Well, I, never I tried. Knew to... that. I never knew that's the figure that I need to aspire to get. I tried to put an afro on, but it it just didn't look right. And then somebody, uh, one of the one of the viewers, um, said, you know, he actually said put an afro on, and I was like, oh shit, that's a great idea. So then I tried messing with it and it didn't work. But well, I just love it that you've nicked pictures of me of Facebook and you've got them over your computer with afros. Yeah. Well, I had to. I had to. Uh, I had to like crop out you and your your body and your wife, and then just keep the the face. And then then I had to crop out your hat. And it then makes it even weird. It's, get, it's, it's getting weirder as you talk. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's getting a little bit weird. But um, <laughs> no, it's funny. And then, and then someone was like, "What are you painting, John?" Another people, and then someone else was like, "Yeah, I'd like to see you paint." And I was like, "Well, I haven't got anything to paint." Chris has Chris has done this and stitched me up and made me have to provide something now for this painting hour that we we're, we're promising. I painted you in a corner. Don't, don't, yeah, don't. I like it. I like it. So <laughs> this is this is why I've picked this up out of the shelf. I've had it for years, and it's a right. rebel turret, um, resin rebel turret. And I thought, well. Maybe I can paint that. What is it? Hold it up again. Well, did you even prime it yet? You what? Did you even prime it yet? Yeah, that's what we're doing now. This, this oh. whole priming, painting, and execution of it has happened in the last ten minutes. Uh, well, I was, I was gonna actually, I, tr I was trying to gonna mention to you last night. It don't matter for painting or for building. I just thought we got on chat about you know modeling. Yeah. While we're doing something, it doesn't really have to be painting, but like I'm, I'm building. I, I'm, I have to get in a frame of mind to paint. I don't know why. I just like I have to gear myself up sometimes and like. Well, I, I can, I can talk and paint, but I can't yeah. talk very well and build. Oh, because you're cursing too much. Yeah, because you know how you know what you know. What I'm like with building. Yeah. So. So that's why I, you know, I could just I could, paint, I could paint my the the Diego Cini Falcon, <clears throat> but I'm at a point where like I kind of have to concentrate on the colors and the and the squares and stuff like that. So like chatting in, in with you and and you know joking around isn't going to work while I'm I don't think I want to mess up and I have to repaint it again. Yeah. Exactly. So, but I'm I'm actually. What I'm building is a Christmas ornament. No, um, it's a uh, it's a uh, pro droid for the for the Archive X contest. And I, I'm not so much even doing. It's just been extended, guy. It's just extended it. Yeah, I saw that. But I, I'm not even so much thinking about entering in in the contest. I mean, I might, but I don't think I follow the rules uh, that are set by you know somebody. Uh, the one, the one guy was like, "Hey, you don't have a weapon. Hey, that's three yeah, D." <laughs> <laughs> like, I think guy has responded saying, "Why do you feel the need to police this contest?" Did he say that? Yes, he has replied with that. But oh, that's good. You know, maybe, maybe the guy just wants everything, everyone to, you know, pull the up their socks and and do the best job they can. You know, I don't know. Yeah, but it's supposed to be fun. Exactly. Yeah, it is. yeah, it's not. It's supposed to be fun. It's not just you know. Hey, it's got to be this. Well, I mean, there are rules. Don't get me wrong. That's why I'm. Mine isn't really so much going to fall on the rules because I don't really plan on putting any kind of weapon on this thing. Um, no, you, you, you just want to build it to build it to join. Yeah, with it. just, it's not as if you've like it's life or death whether you what place you come in the competition. <laughs> right. Just, yeah. I um. <clears throat> and I wasn't even planning on building because I I have so many other projects I want to get done. But like this idea popped in my head, and I was just like, you know what? That'd be a cool idea. Um, so, yeah. so mine is 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 a probe joy that's based. Hold on, let me put my. 
Let me put my uh, get the full screen on. So mine is based off of the Cantwell desktop, and it's gonna have uh, warts and all kinds of stuff. Um, so this is what I have now, which I'm really happy with, actually. I I originally had. Let me show you the last one. I after looking at it, I'm like, this this looks freaking terrible. I can't believe I actually started got went this far on this thing. Um. Oh, yeah, well, that's good that you've managed to like just say no to yourself. Yeah, if it's not if it's not working, don't try and fix it. <laughs> just well, I, it. I put it up in the group, and I'm like, "Hey guys, what do you think?" And like, in all honesty, I really do want like real opinions. I want people to say, "Hey, that looks like uh, a Christmas ornament." That yeah. um, oh, why is it playing a video? Huh? That is not what I want to do. Um, why does it look like a Christmas ornament with uh, uh, Cheerios on it? That's what I want to know. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can. Oh, it was up there. Some bitch. Why did it do that? But I was just really unhappy with it. There was no scale. There's nothing. There. It just looks weird. It looks like <clears throat> looks like a Christmas ornament with Cheerios and a uh, venereal disease. So it, um, it does like it. I don't know. I, it looks like um, kind of has a Christmas cake kind of. Right, that's what I don't want. <laughs> I mean, look at that thing. Wow. I threw a bunch of washers on and some uh, some uh, you know. It's because it's the, not the right scale. The ball's too small. We said that, didn't we? Like the Kent Ken yeah. Wells Star Destroyer. That's <clears throat> um, not. Star, I'm doing like I'm doing the same as you, calling it a Star Destroyer. Oh, I Kent keep Wells, calling it for... Yeah, Kent, Kent Wells. Um, Death Star, you said was just the size of like a basketball. It is, but I mean, if you look, it's got all these little. Let's see if I can show it. Might as well find the picture. Fuck it. Uh, uh, take me too long to find the picture. But <clears throat> it has a whole bunch of little, little, little like rivets on it. Um, and then there's not as many bumps as you think there are. It's more the rivets than anything. Um, so I was trying to achieve that goal and then put, um, drill these, drill these rivets out for, uh, for fiber optics, little red fiber optics, but, um, it just looked terrible. So I, I threw it away, which I have to buy another half sphere, by the way. Um, All right. and, and I'm waiting for that to come in to do the bottom half. And this is what I came up with. I like it better. It's got smaller kit parts. There's going to be less um, hat circles on, which Amazon is absolutely great, man. Like, seriously, oh, Amazon, yeah. I, I got this. Hold on. Let me, why is it? Oh, I removed. Stop screen. Bear with me, Chris. Hang on. I'm just going to go outside the room just to spray it. One sec. No worries, I'll talk. Um, I got this this little thing filled with a hundred different size brown beads. And that's all I'm gonna put on here. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby. I bought these beads. I bought these beads. I bought these beads, and I'm not using any of them. So. Um, I'm just going to be gluing beads onto this little thing and try to make it. I'm not going to do a whole lot, a lot, a whole lot of beads, but um, I like I like these little kit parts. And then on the bottom for the legs, they're going to be almost like uh, like the Sentinel in um, uh, Matrix. 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 Yes. Um, those like tentacle like beaded and again i need to go back to hobby lobby and get more beads because those none of those have the right shape um on i was gonna put beads on on wires john that make it bendable and i can just i can just like shape it how i want yep yeah, yeah yeah so you know my first first iter my first attempt because it failed so miserably I was able to like, all right, let's think about this a little bit and figure out what I really want to do. Hopefully you guys can see this because I th think my my screen's a little dark. 
Oh, dark. I don't know. Seems dark. We actually have seven people watching this time, John. I don't believe it. must be the picture. The famous. It's got to be the picture. What's up, Jeff? How's it going, Jeff? Jeff, I want to thank you personally for you know contributing so much for the group. Um, the group only gets gets better with more interaction. So you know, like, thanks for doing that, brother. Um, Parminder, what's up, brother? You're more than welcome to join us, Parm, if you want. Um, can we see John Bob Ross palette of paint? <laughs> John, you got to produce a palette of paint, brother. Look at that. What's that? I'll get that palette out in a minute. Okay. So the this. Thing we, we, I think I've, I've been explained. Like I'm running around my my model room out of earshot quite a lot. So if I disappear, I am coming no. back. All my gear all isn't here. It's all around me. And because um, I haven't prepared, that's why I keep my off. So apologies. What have you been doing all the way along? Seriously. Real work. <laughs> my, my, my wake up this morning, my wife, I'm still in bed, and my wife's getting ready for work, and she's like, what are you doing today? Uh, I'm going to do a live stream. She goes, you freaking suck, man. Like, She's at work, and I'm doing this. She get she don't like that very much, but okay. So last time we did this, man, what a pain in the nuts. Um, these that's why I have this tray here because all these beads, there'll be more beads on the floor than there'll be on the on the model, without a doubt. <laughs> um, and then picking them up is also an adventure. Um, I tried tweezers, uh, it don't work. They just fly in different directions. And I tried, um, so basically I'll put them on my fingers and then moving them around. I put glue on and then move the bead into the glue rather than trying to send it in. So that's a pain in the ass. Oh, and I just got glue on my pictures. Wonderful. So are you working today, John? Yeah, I have been, dude. Sorry. Uh, I'm now just trying. I'm. Uh, I've got an hour basically to start doing some painting, which will last longer than an hour. Yeah, we always go a lot longer than an hour. Yeah. But right. um, don't you hate it when you can't find something that you had a minute ago? <laughs> what are you looking for? You literally had something in your hand, and then it's just and then you put it somewhere, and you can't find it. You know, and I I had the scale of the uh, the beads all off too. They were just some of them were just way too big. I thought big would be better, but it's not. I try not to go above like into the real big ones because they just stand out too much. But there are some decent sized ones on this. You don't have to paint, John. You can build something. Build whatever you're building. I, I'm running. I'm running around doing shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally. I'm. I've got that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna paint the turret. In a minute. One second. Okay. Well, if we don't do a whole lot of actually building and painting well, today, yeah. if if we don't do a whole lot of building and painting today, it's yeah, more yeah. just like us getting on and just talking and you know well, having exactly, fun. Yeah. As soon as I um, as soon as I can find this fucking paint, I'm done. <laughs> <I'll be done. laughs> Come on, man. We got a show to do here, man. Can't yeah, be. Okay. Yeah, I think they're good. Yeah, those are good sizes. So now, like, I just have to. All I'm doing is putting a dot of, 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 of glue where I want them to be, and then. Moving them around, that's it, really. I'll be doing this for like an hour or two hours doing this. Because this is time consuming. Now I got a bubble. And keeping them straight, like the way you want them. Uh, I thought it matters that much, but I still like to keep them somewhat 
symmetrical. Okay, so what, what can you see in front of me? <coughs> oh, I can see hold on, a bottle of water. No, that's um, that's white spirit. That's that that that's good to drink that stuff. Don't drink that stuff. All right, I can see your plate. I can see. Show so me this, something. This is the turret in black currently. Okay. And okay. I'm, you literally just waiting, I'm literally waiting for that to dry. Well, okay. put it down in the field of view so I can tell you where it's at. Let me move this. Uh, yeah, we can see that. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to give that a coat of AS20, that insignia white, just because I've got a can of it in the aerosol. Okay. And if this doesn't completely get messed up, I might give this away to someone watching. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. So... If someone was send it. That, that next to their Merlin models 8080 80 or, or Ask Replica at it Walker, it's the same scale. So, it, honestly, dude, like, like seeing okay, that speaking of the Merlin, uh, all right, uh, yeah, that's cool. Just, yeah, yeah, just uh, we'll put it up in the group and just be like, and who was who's expect, watching, yeah. Don't expect it to be good either. I'm not. This is not a commission build. This, <laughs> this is me chucking right. something together while we're talking, and um, I'm not going to use it. So, if well, wants it, why don't? Yeah, just just make sure you put your name in the comments so we know who's 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 here. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that would. Be I know Jeff's here. Steve's here. Parm's here. Um, anybody else shows, shows up? Put your name. I'm going to I'm going to put a little, little banner at the bottom. Yeah. Well, let me go and carry on spraying in the other room and I'll be back. Okay. Scroll across the bottom. Host name or free turret from Dawn. John Ross. We didn't hear that. Yeah. That'll be just be scrolling across the bottom. Can you hear me, John? I'll tell him when he gets back. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Show. There we go. Cool. Sweet. Jeff, Steve, mess it up and send it to me. Does John use different airbrush for filming versus detailed color? I'm going to say it's the same one. We'll ask him when he gets back. But what's the, question? the question is, does John use a different airbrush for priming versus detail color? I use just... aerosol, aerosol for priming. Yeah. And I use a badge of velocity more often than not. But what have I got now? One of them I've got that's quite fine is the is the Iowata uh, HP BH. Okay. Iowata HP BH, and then I take the I take the uh, the tip off, so it's a fine. Just it's just got the needle yeah. sticking out. Yeah, and, off. and you can do the fine streaking like that. So I've got the uh, I've got a little blaster primed. Now I'll hit that with some black and then go over it with some AS20. Yeah, I never I never use airbrush primer. I only I really just aerosol. It's just it's just quick and easy, you know? It just it goes a lot faster. Oh that's a kit part. That's cool. There's a whole lot less bumps on here than you think. I'm just gonna like honestly like all I'm doing I gotta they stick to my fingers, so I'm just gonna throw a bunch in there and just start finding places for these to go. Do you know what? Do you know what are lifesavers? These what? things. What? Are they? Oh yeah. So you, you can get I don't these use mine as much, but it comes in handy when you're doing details. Yeah, I mean, they, I get, you can get a pack of these off like Amazon for so cheap. Yeah. And. 
I've like made my own out of old like cocktail sticks, not cocktail sticks, um, barbecue sort of sticks. You know, the, the thicker what ones. What do you call them? Co um, co I called them cocktail sticks at first. And then what do you call them? Like barbecue sticks, kebab sticks. You know, the ones that have like uh, thicker ones. They're longer. Yeah, and they're thicker. And then I use these for tiny parts. <laughs> and this is just insulation foam. A block of insulation foam, and this has lasted me for years. Yeah, but wow. it, they are—they're a massive time saver. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> yeah, it's not new. One. <laughs> one sec. I bought mine off Amazon. It came with a nice little uh, little holder, and um, um, you know, little holes in it for it to, to set them in. I don't use mine as much. I don't do a lot of fine detail painting. But I think Jeff is referring to mainly um, streaking and stuff and, and um, weathering and stuff, right, John? Jeff, I'm sorry, not John. All right, let's have a cut of AS20, and I'm going to give that a bit of a hair dry and then back out again for another coat for my speed. I should see this is the shit I should have done and had ready for this show, shouldn't I? Well, why didn't you prepare? I prepared to fail. I prepared to fail. Well, I only sprung this on you. Like, what? What time was it last night? I was like, I was like sitting waiting for you to reply so I could put the uh, thumbnail up. I'm like, come on, John, put. Tell me what. Tell me it's okay. Tell me it's okay because I didn't want to put that picture up without you saying it was okay. I did, John. What time was it? I, I sprung this show on you last night. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't too late. No, I thought it was pretty late. Well, I've been working this morning, so I didn't have time to prepare. So that, that, the show is now in your hands. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm just, I'm just uh, gluing the warts on. It's not very exciting, but I figured honestly that we just get on and chat more than more than build and paint. But if somebody's going to get a free turd out of it, that's pretty cool. Right? You got it. Michael Barnes. Hey, Michael. Thanks for joining us, brother. I might, bring the, <laughs> I might actually bring the camera over to the airbrush. Uh. John, Jeff says, I'm not going to promote or add stuff if you guys are going to give stuff away because he wants it for himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A free John Ross painting. Pretty cool. You know, guys, I honestly was just thinking of getting on and chatting with him, but... uh <laughs> He's too busy running around trying to get the paint for this thing. Right, John? Right, so uh, here we go. There really are not a lot of bumps on this thing. There's hardly any. A lot of circle, half circles, I should say. Okay, this needs some time to dry, but it's looking smooth right. enough. They're for my speed paint. So what are you working on now besides this that you that you didn't have something to paint? Um, can you see that? Oh yeah, you're still working on that. No, just finished that. Okay. And then we got the crawler, obviously. Yeah, I started working on that again last night. Yeah, we need to get back on that. I uh, I I did the uh, I put the um, the. The walkway in yeah it looks good <clears throat> i'm happy and so i started is... playing my inside too like that's part of the problem is figuring out what i'm going to do because it's not like i don't know it's not easy this is this is oh. my walkway and it's not <clears throat> right what's wrong with it let me see hold on put it up what's wrong with it so where are we? 
these need to be shoved over more this side. Okay. So that, yeah. that centurion part and the FX. Maybe plane. just one more over. Yeah, but then you then the then the eight rad parts here need a, need one. They need two clear parts oh. before these parts. I don't know how I've messed that up. I think I've made these back panels too wide. Yeah, I think I remember you doing that actually. When we talked about it, we figured out a, a number. Yeah. And then the next day, you're like, "I made it this." I'm like, "Well, that's not what we figured out." <laughs> well, that's not what we discussed, John. <laughs> it's totally different, John. <laughs> And you're like, oh, okay, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Well, that's that's me through and through. Um, and then that's the roof. Did you add those um, those uh, Chinese uh, Japanese cannons on? Yeah, it's got some Japanese cannons, but I I don't know what ones these were in the end. Well, uh, Joe had told us what they were, and his I thought they were something else, and mine I knew they were. They weren't right, but they looked pretty damn close, and I didn't think that we knew what the real ones were. Right. So I just put them on, but now and I painted them, so now it's a little late. But a little thing like that ain't gonna matter because can't even barely see that. <clears throat> exactly. Close enough. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just gonna hair dry these and see if I can. Okay. Get them to be handled. <clears throat> John, by the time you get to actually paint this thing, it will be over. Well, John, kind the bottom when I win it. <laughs> I'm, the one who I'm the one who posted the AMT X Wing at ATST B Wing. They look good, Steve. The beautiful thing about resin is you can hair dry it for as long as you like. Does it, it my, I, I notice like a funky smell. It almost like it's burning it a little bit. Do you? Mm, no. No? Oh, I do. Maybe it's just me. Well, I mean, if you're, if you're heating it up so much that you can bend it with your fingers, then maybe. Yeah. The thin stuff. The thinner stuff. Yeah. But like, like I have to pour boiling water on those sand crawlers to get them to, to, to shape. Right. <clears throat> John, I, spray, Tommy... I, I spray on this, um, this Tamiya um, turntable quite a lot. Oh yeah, and, and and do you find when you lift the parts off, it pulls some of the paint off underneath the previous coats? Well, I don't do that. I use my turntable, but I put a piece of cardboard over top, and I replace the cardboard regularly. Oh, look at you, clever! <laughs> there we go. Nice. We're gonna have a whole entire. Uh, um turret done by the time we're done here yeah but it's only like three pieces so yeah not too bad um, it's really just some some scarring some streaking and some scarring right and and the color there's nothing to it yeah i might i might just completely go on to hand paints to be honest yeah that's probably a better because, idea yeah because it means me move my my camera over and setting up the airbrush and everything i can't be bothered yeah by the time you get but, the airbrush out the show will be over yeah, whoever gets this, it won't be that good. Don't worry. <laughs> I think Jeff really wants it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, I need some. I need some chipping paint. What can I put on it for chipping? This, uh, these beads that I got, they're actually like. I hate to say this, but there are beads that girls put on their eyebrows and stuff. Like, to give them, like, I don't know. I, I, was, I just saw the advertisement. I'm like, all right, those are cool. But then I looked at the rest of the pictures, and there was a girl who put put these little pearl beads all over her eye, eyelids and stuff. Yeah, I bet you've got loads of them. You, have, you, didn't, even have to, you didn't have to leave the house for them. Oh, me? Yeah, oh, yeah, had, I wear them every night. Yeah, you had all that when you draw. Hmm. Yeah, my wife, I come to bed and my wife's like, the beads again? <laughs> the beads are going to go. <laughs> Not the beads that I want to use, you know, but. 
Okay, this live stream is getting <laughs> getting a lot of Yeah. Okay, right. Some chipping. So, John, I got to tell you, I showed my wife that video you sent me last night of your wife, and yeah. she's just like, she's like, is is this for real? Is she just like completely ignoring him? I'm like, yeah. She's like, <laughs> That's a, it was a bit unfair, I think. I should. She she's she she's really good usually. Is she? Yeah. yeah. And my my wife was well. Well, at least I actually showed a little bit of enthusiasm when you showed me this. I was like. <laughs> You did actually. I was surprised because not you usually just roll your eyes at me when I show you things. Yeah, but to a normal person, what we like is just absolutely just nonsense. Ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Pointless crap. Well, yeah, yeah, it is kind of really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at me. I'm 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 putting girls' eyelid beads on my on a plastic sphere. Well, there you go. For a second time. So this this won't be painted ILM style, really. This will just be. Listen, if it's painted by John Ross, you have to sign. Jeff came up with the idea. You need to sign the bottom, John Ross. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> That's a must. John Ross. <laughs> John Ross. Oh my God! You would have thought I. You would have thought that I had. Found the funniest joke if you saw me last night laughing hysterically while I'm while I'm photoshopping this picture together. <laughs> it, was, it was completely ridiculous. <laughs> just, I was just laughing like a little kid when I I could barely get it finished without you know I was laughing so hard. But that's what happens with that. You usually we end up laughing about the stupidest of things, nothing to do with modeling or anything. Oh yeah. And I I can't imagine you doing doing that. So. <laughs> Oh my god! And the whole time I'm like, uh, I think he'll be okay with this, but I didn't want to post it until I was sure you were okay with it. That's that's so kind of you. Yeah, I know. That's how I am. I've, I've made this humiliating picture of my friend. I better <laughs> ask him if he's okay before. <laughs> well, you didn't hear the part where the one I showed it to this the, the guy who's doing the intro video for us. What? I showed it to him. And he, he said, oh, my God, you've got to add Afro onto it. So I tried to add Afro on. And who, I'll have to is, say who is this intro guy? Uh, his name's Aaron. He's a, he's a viewer. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Real nice guy. I've gotten to chat with him. Got, got pretty good friendly with him. Um, real nice guy. Sweet. And uh, he, uh, he, he said, send me a, pic a good picture of him on an angle. I'll see, do my best because he's like a. I don't know. I, I, I'm probably going to be insulting because I don't know exactly. He told me what he does exactly, but I don't like remember exact words. So I, I, I just love it that there's pictures of me floating around different people's computers. That I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, who was it? Somebody posted there. I think it was Parminder who said said we should use this picture, which is you. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> At, at celebration, remember that was yeah, Parmeter. Well, that was you. But you know, I really like Rob. And oh I yeah, don't, Rob, great. I don't want that to come across as if I'm like being mean to him. Or <laughs> <laughs> the best was the pic. I think Steve showed him the picture. Yeah. And then he's holding the phone up behind him, and and he's making the scowl face at you. <laughs> remember yeah, that? Hang on, Rob. Rob doesn't do any other face than that anyway. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Now you <laughs> really insulted him. Yes. Yeah, I've dug myself a pit here. God damn it, John. We're, he's not going to watch our shows anymore. Oh, God. And he's starting to build models. Dude, that's so awesome that he pulled it out and started working on that. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. You know, like, we used to influence people to buy shit, like, waste their money and buy, you know, collectibles that really mean nothing. Yeah. But now, like this new channel, we're 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 influencing people to actually get their models out and start working on them. That's cool. That makes me. That's happy. far. That's far more worthy to get people. Far to more do worthy of being an influencer. <laughs> an influencer. <laughs> that's what. Well, that's what Parminder called us. You're an influencer. <laughs> oh God. 
but I'm okay with that. I, you know, like I can't tell you how to put your makeup on in the morning, you know, but, um, well, you can, can because you're, you're using the, uh, the right tools there to do it. I am actually. Right, so well, I, I'm just going around this sponge shipping at the moment and I don't want to overdo it, but I want to, it's quite a bland model. It's very nicely made, but it's, I say bland, it hasn't got much detail on it. So I need to sort of create some sort of aesthetic detail on it before I start <clears throat> fiddling with washes and stuff. So John, I came up with an idea. So, um, you know how I want those little eyelets, right? On here. Yeah, I yeah. use I use washers. Oh, I still have you on, completely. I haven't been looking at the screen, so if I'm not answering questions, I'm I'm sorry. Um, I'm using. Where it go? Don't tell me I lost it. My dad will kill me. <laughs> uh, where to put it? Yeah, what do I do? Oh, there it is. So, okay. I'm not going to put like washers and stuff on. Damn, that's dark. Why is that so freaking dark? I'm going to I'm going to use a self punch, right? A what? And uh self tap, like a, a center punch, an automatic okay. center punch. And then I'll punch it and then it'll give me a little hole and then it'll give me a little raised crater around it. It works great. I wish you could see it. I don't know if you can. You can't, but maybe the viewers can. But like it gives it a nice little crater, like a that's, that turned out real good. I'm real happy with that. That's much better than trying to put little tiny washers all over. So I'll just go around and I'll I'll punch it. Different sizes. You know? Did I lose you? Uh, let's see. I actually can't post a link, sorry. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go back to some of these comments. I picked up Boba Fett Bandai kit to try to paint it in an animated. I love, I love animated uh, holiday special Fett colors. I love them. Um, Hobby Lobby is 40% off. That's, that's where I got all these beads. I wasted $30. Um, what grievances are you using this, Chris? I used um, uh, 1700 Tamiya battleship um, pieces. Uh, King George, um, Rodney, um, King George, and, and, um, and the, uh, oh, what's it called? Damn it. King George, the British, the British uh, battleships. Barney, Prince of Wales. King George and Prince of Wales basically have all the same um, Greeblies in them. The Japanese ones are different. The American ones are different. They have, you know, some, some similar ones, but it's been King George mostly and Rodney. Like this one's Rodney. These are these are really cool ones. Like this one here. Hope you can see it. Well, focus. There you go. You can see that one's really cool, and it has a very, very, very similar feel to to this one. No, not that one. That one there. Let's see if I can get that in the picture. Right there. Right there. It has a very similar feel to that one. So it kind of gets me closer to the one I thought. Um, I don't want to go too heavy on on the beads because there actually is not a lot on this thing. Um, let's see comments. What group is using? Uh, um, Parminder, I'm not going to mention that comment. Um, that's for later tonight. Um, Michael is kind of looks like what he is pulling from. Sorry about that. I was just with a customer. Oh, I can post. I'll post that. Uh, let me see if I can find that picture for you, Jeff. It'll take me just one second. Facebook. John, I know I sent you a picture of the Cantwell. Oh, no, Jason sent me his. Jason sent me pictures, good pictures of Cantwell. 
Where's Jason? His name. Hang on. I'm gonna pull up a picture of the Cantwell Death Star. If you guys, I'm sure most of you know what it looks like, but if you don't, this one. I have so many pictures on here on this on this uh, on my computer that just were brought up just so I could um, share them on the screen. And like we're going through files and then finding picture, random picture somewhere in my file, in my files. And actually this is a work computer I'm using. So it's probably not the best. Come on. Why is it playing? Why is it same play? There it is. There's what I'm drawing from. And you see like the <clears throat> that Rodney piece looks a lot looks kind of similar to that. I mean it's, it's Jesus, close. there's a lot of part, there's a lot of parts on that. There's a lot. There's a lot more kit parts than you than you think there are. Like look over here. There's a bunch of well you can't, but I'm talking to the viewers. There's a bunch of pieces that stick out that aren't just beads down here and the and in the middle, of course, obviously. But these here, these little lines, they look like kit parts. I mean they, they look like some kind of straight i got a couple of those a couple on here like that i got like that one um but uh the top the top has a lot three layers i only did two because it's it's, it's too big it's too small to do that but like these little rivets there's tons and tons of those um and i'm gonna i don't know i'm hoping i if i don't if i put them on i hope i don't ruin what i'm doing i'm almost tempted to not do them because it might take away so much and make it too busy. I don't know. We'll see. But that is the, uh, that's the plan. That's, that's the plan. John, are you there? It's supposed to be a live stream with John, not John walking around. <laughs> Come on, John. Play with your beads later. Yeah, this is like John has a, a very specific way of putting term for you for doing small little garbage stuff like this. He says it's like slamming your you know what in a car door a hundred times. I'm not going to use those words, but you get the point. Let's see here. Trying to strategically place these beads so that they look cool, but not too much. So we're gonna put three of them straight line. And and he did actually. There's different angles of this thing. So he did a lot of them actually are in some kind of order. You don't think they are just looking first glance at this thing, but there is a. I don't want to. Like, now I'm getting phone calls. Sorry, Dad. You get oh, it's your work. Yeah. Customers or Dad? <clears throat> Customers. Yeah. What do they call you for? Come fix my toilet. No, we're closed. It's people that we're sending our bills out soon, so um, they're like thinking we're shutting down because <laughs> we haven't sent them their their bills for next season. Oh. Well, that was that particular call, but um. Your neighbors anyway. want you to shut down, right? Say it again. You said your neighbors want you to shut shut down, though. Oh yeah, my my lovely neighbors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any more run-ins with them? No, nothing. They didn't no, call we've, you we've... All the time. Say it again. They didn't call you the police on you lately. <laughs> no, nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this is quite relaxing doing old school washes on it. Like tank washing? Yeah, like so I'm just literally holding the brush against the panel line. And just let so it run. Michael Barnes asks Steve Deppa asks, does does that include ship free shipping? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kinda I'm kinda like um, regretting what I uh, what I said. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael asks, Do you choose your kit bashing greeblies based on scale of your studio build or the scale of the kit parts. 
Uh, I, that is a good question. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, if, obviously, if you have like a big Death Star, right? Like, so like this, you don't want to be putting big Greeley's on because, like, you'll have what I did before. Like, I had two big, the, the, the beads were too big and they just, it took over it. I don't know. Like, you have to kind of think about what you're building. Like, even the tank that we just did. Like there's there's certain things that are just too big and don't look right on and even like this like how those kit parts look they might be a small kit part but I don't know I don't know how to describe that yeah you do need to like I like with the legs I used like these springs um, that were on I think they were on a previous probe droid to be honest but they just looked like they were they were right but if I went went for something that's like off like a bigger tank it wouldn't have wouldn't have worked no. No, you got to so, yeah, think, try to, like, I don't know. It's it's basically a feel thing. So it's rather than just say, hey, I'm using 1700 on a 148 B Wing, right? Like, yeah. You, it, I don't even deal with scale. Like, scale doesn't even, scale really doesn't much enter my brain. People ask me, well, what scale is that? And I'm like, I don't know. And it doesn't really. You, you'll find people that don't do. Studio scale will say that. Yes. But that's fine because they're used to working constantly at certain scales. Yeah. But with yeah. us, we don't care because we're not going to put it on a diorama. We're not going to put it next to anything else. It's just going to be blonked. Right. On a, on a base and then away you go, ne on to the next one. Yeah. It's going to be on its own little you know acrylic base or stand or whatever and then displayed next to a star destroyer that's four foot long. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. It doesn't scale doesn't really I like I said, scale doesn't like I, I've built four um sand crawlers, the Randy Cooper ones, and people have asked me, what scale is it? I don't know. Like yeah, I don't tell you. I'm building a one to one scale one, like not a one I don't well, okay, the the studio one is not tip technically one to one, like no, but really like like, like yeah. But one to one studio scale it is. It's it's scaled off of the original one. So you know what I mean? I fall into that all the time. I say the one to one scale when I mean the studio scale one, the original one that was built in the sitting in the archives. Yeah. Yeah, because one to one is is a real size tank, you know, like Yeah. Yeah. It's not. <clears throat> all right. So big one up here. Not a real big one, but big enough. So, where, so who, who am I building this for now? <laughs> I don't know. As of right now, it looks like Jeff. He's the one commenting most. Okay. Where does Jeff live? Jeff lives in the States. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> no. Too bad we didn't do this last week when you sent me my stuff. You could have sent it with it. I could have sent it to him. It doesn't matter. That's fine. Anything to sort of uh, reward people for watching? Yeah. Listen, we had one or zero the last two shows we did. And now we have seven. Seven. Imagine seven people sitting with us in a pub. <clears throat> you wouldn't you wouldn't get a word in edgeways. No. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Although, I got to be honest, John. Like when you you're the one that I, that we did with you before got the most views out of the the live streams. That's for sure. Yeah, well, that's because I haul myself out online, don't I? Yeah, we both do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel how, like okay. That's how people know me. I think just just doing that constantly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I think I might be posting too many pictures of this ad at. Um but in all honesty, the reason that like yeah, but then then you get you but you get excited, don't you? Because you're working on it and you want to share it with others. Yeah, plus I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit, you know, get it get it a little bit going. And it's if you don't have have um um what's the word I'm looking for? Traffic on on the channel, it just dies. Yeah. You know? It, like, like, 
if people aren't posting and people aren't talking and, and you know, and I, I do want this to, to not grow so much, not like have a, a thousand, a bazillion members, but more so just a lot of interaction and traction and, you know, just people getting on and building, um, showing their builds like today's Wednesday. And I was waiting to see if Dave Ashby did it. If he didn't do it today, I'm going to do it. Do the workbench Wednesday thing where people get on and they just, they actually show their, what they're working on. Right. It just makes, for, it's good because, you know, you get, it is a, it's a lonely hobby. If you, it is. if you're just literally working in your room by yourself, but then when you come to model shows and you'll hang out together, it's great. It's really sociable, but that very rarely happens. So to do this sort of thing, together is is nice yeah there's a lot of people that have that have joined that i i've never seen before which makes me happy but I, in all honesty one of, one of the things that made me really happy was seeing that rob pulled out his ad at and started working on it like that was, yeah. that's cool like he's been talking about it since he bought the thing yeah. And you know, mentioning it and thinking about it, and then he finally did it because he's seen all these, all of us put up, you know, real cool builds and stuff. So, yeah, well, that's, that that's, makes and, and you know, he's a builder, so he, he's not going to struggle. Yeah. With well, he doesn't. He's. I think he's like a little afraid to paint. I think he's more of a builder than a painter. Um, Who does the painting at RS? Simon does it. Um, Becca does it. Um, I don't know the, uh, I don't, I don't remember who else does it. I know Paul, he's a builder. He's a spackler too. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, he, he, he makes me die. He does. Oh my God. He's hilarious. And you know what? He's like that in person too. Here yes. he is. Yeah, you I, met him. You met him, right? I yeah. did. I just met, I just remember his son just like, <clears throat> Kind of just frowning at everything he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if one of his wife's like, "All right, Paul, that's enough, Paul. Come on, Paul." Yeah. I could just see that because, you know, like my wife would be like, "All right, Chris, that's enough. That's that's yeah. enough." <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm excited as Andy Lee just finished a commission X-wing for me to go next to the tie i built oh sweet i'm dying to build a scratch build tie i really am i enjoy yeah. watching while working on emails and organizing for the work day what do you do jeff michael barnes great explanation is that what they call the art of greebly is it an instinct that you pick up and learn over time how do you choose the parts excuse spelling i am dyslexic um is it an instinct that you pick up or learn over time learn yes over time, yes because i couldn't have done this two years ago like <clears throat> i just started doing this two years ago so like and it's just something you 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 you, you learn you, by trial and error really like even you, like yesterday i not yesterday two days ago i built that other one i don't know if you were here for that job mark michael i'll show you if you weren't here I'll, let me know if you were here i'll show you i'm in sales at dropbox oh sweet i use dropbox every day um michael if you're if you didn't see the the picture of the old the previous one of this i'll post it up if not if you did i uh let me know I don't want to bore people with seeing it again because it was an eyesore. I should have kept it and put it on the on the Christmas tree and painted it red. It <laughs> you should have Take, speaking of Kit Parts, do you know what I managed to watch yesterday? Well, wow. looking after my son. My son is like four and he's obsessed with like um there's like the young Jedi um like it's like a young Jedi program called Young Jedi Tales on Disney. Okay. It's basically a real kids program for you know little Star Wars fans. Okay. And one of the characters is a little little um Ewok called uh Nubs. Nubs. 
and he loves this nubs kid like, character and it's an and, evil. yeah and he was like he's watched this this young jedi so much but there's there's not enough for him you know he's like i need more i need more so i was like what well, why don't we watch the ewok movie right when yeah. was the last time you watched the ewok movie <laughs> I have never watched the Ewok movie. <laughs> it's the it's the hardest thing to watch. Uh, worse than the holiday special? Oh well, maybe not, but it's it's up there. Worse but than uh, Book of Boba? No. Okay. <laughs> it's difficult to watch, and it's like it's basically, it, I don't know. Right? It's like. At the start of the film, it's meant to be for kids. And the start of the film, the little girl's mom and dad get murdered straight away. And I'm like, oh, girl, okay, they're, they're probably going to. The little girl's parents get murdered straight away at the start. Oh. Well, don't forget, and this is meant to be for movie. kids. And, and, I'm, and I'm meant to be saying, I'm meant to be saying to my son, that's all right. They're, they're, they're okay. They're, they'll probably come back. And I was like, shit, this is a bit too heavy for him, you know? Yeah. Anyway. What the point I'm getting to about Kit Putts is one of the bad guys, he's called like Terek or something. He's like this alien. He's sitting on this throne. Yeah. And the throne is made up of Death Star tiles. No. Repainted. Yeah. Uh, at the top, there's all Death Star part tiles. And then there's the um, flaps for the speeder bike to the left and right of him. The flak. Yes. But it's the full size one. So it's obviously like. Parts wow. they use from the from the full size um, speeder bike. That's cool, actually. Yeah, and then I, I I wanted to Google it because I was like, yeah, I wonder if there's any pictures of that throne. Um, and then popped up a maquette from prop store auction. Um, and it, and it's got the flak parts on. On the on the on the model, so on the maquette, so they've actually replicated it in life size with the life size parts they had. <laughs> probably from the speeder bikes they put a lot of effort into that crappy movie yeah and there's like, all the it's got blurgs in it that like mando rides you know yeah and that's that's tip it i think yeah so you know it's, it's um it's a random but the story one is terrible you what but the story is terrible right yeah. if, if, yeah. if they if they'd have put some effort into it it would have been into the story. I mean, it would have been like a, a childhood, like good film. I don't, know, I don't know why the opportunity was so wasted. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm well, getting, they had getting that, the airbrush out now. They had the, uh, air, they had the droids cartoon and the Ewok cartoon. Yeah. I, remember um, them, yeah. I never watched any of those either. By that time I was, I was, out of collecting Star Wars, like I was just looking for girls, basically. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, yeah, you know, I was, I was at that age where that that would have been important to me. Those, yeah. Not watching Ewoks. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. We go back that we're like forty years old and we're watching Ewoks. <laughs> well, I'm watching it with my son, thinking well, you have a legitimate reason. Then I would not. Yeah. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> if I would have called you, and you'd you'd have been busy. Hang on, John. I'm just watching Ewoks the movie. I'll call, I'll call you back. I think if I watched uh, Ewoks, that's the question, question our friendship. I think. I think if I watched Ewoks and my wife came in and looked at it, she would be like, "What are you doing? Like, <laughs> what are you doing?" Oh, look. She, I, I, I definitely would make her paintings drop in one second. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, I'm onto this. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to airbrush this now. Can you see okay. anything on your screen that I've done at all? Yeah, I can see it completely. Well, the light washes it out a lot. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, that's let, me, let, me make it full, let me put these down. I'll make it full screen so we can see it. Let's see what the prize looks like. We can see. Looks good. You see that? Yeah. That's I mean, fantastic. it's not much to it's not much to look at. But what am I writing on? What am I writing underneath? John Ross. Uh, John Ross. Sign it, John Ross, 
and the date. What is the date today? The 13th. <laughs> so I accidentally put up the 12th as the date. There you go. Uh, that's, how, that's, that's how I write. That's how the English write the date. The Americans write Yeah, I looked at it. I'm like, 13, 13, 12. <laughs> John Ross. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna run over and airbrush some some stuff on that just to blend it out. So okay. if I go quiet, that's what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm happy with this. It's coming along. It's actually looking like something. Uh I am happy with that. And I'm debating whether I want to put those rivet. More, I gotta put some more, more, a little bit more uh, beads back here, but I gotta, I gotta wait for my order for my other half to come. Um, I'm happy with that. I gotta put something in the middle there yet, um, but it's. Oh, I want to see. Did you? Did he see that, Michael? Question for you, John. I wish go to. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna ask you, uh, answer some of these comments. Oh, we got 11 people watching. Uh, if you just joined, it's not just me. Do we have John John Ross as well? Um, with 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 his palette. There's your palette. Uh, Ewok movies are pretty bad. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put some comments up here. Uh, Ten in now. Hit that like button. Yes, Jeff. Please just hit the like button. Just give me a comment or you know whatever. Um, let's see. Good morning, Chris and John. How are you guys doing? We're, we're, we're great. We're, we're, it's a, it's a Wednesday morning. I got no work. Well, I got to go at night, but, um, we're modeling. That's, 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 that's a good day. Um, Steve, are you going to scribe more panel lines in on? Uh, no, I'm not going to do panel lines. Um, I made that mistake on the last one, trying to scribe them and it just didn't look right. I think because of the scale of it, if I add panel lines, it'll take away. Um, it'll take away a lot of this. Less is more sometimes, uh, almost all the time. I that's 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 something I live by. Less is always more. Um, let's see here. Ewok movies are pretty bad. I don't know. I never watched them uh disney films they kill off a parent at the beginning that is true but then again you got to remember when those movies were made they were made in the 80s so like i mean things were different back then like i mean look at tom and jerry tom and jerry is very violent like they're chasing each other with axes and and shooting each other and all kinds of stuff and that was you know that's what you watched when you were a kid i, I did and you know, I my my ex wife actually was like, "We're not gonna let our kids watch Tom and Jerry, are we?" And I actually, you know, I was a husband who didn't want to hear complaining, so I'm like, "All right, fine, whatever." They were little; it doesn't matter if they watch it or not. But then, like later on, people were like, "You're not letting them watch Tom and Jerry? Are you serious?" Uh, let's see, Spencer. Uh, hi, John and Chris. Question for you both. I'll wait for that when he gets back. Oh yeah, yeah, John Spencer. Um, I can answer this, and we'll talk to John when he gets back. Question for you both: Have you ever lost your mojo, and how did you get it back? I have far too many unfinished builds, and need to get back into it. Great work, Spencer. We did a show. Jason and I did a show. If you go back and watch, I think it was the one that has Macquarie um, on it, Macquarie um, X Wing and Tie Fighter. It's called Back At It. And in that show, we dive pretty deeply into what makes you lose your mojo, how how getting it back, you know, life problems. Cause like when I'm I mean, you would think that that if you're down or something's not going right in your life, like with me, you know, you fight with your wife. It kind of ruins your day. And you think, you know. I'm going to go and shop and try to work on something, get my mind off it. I can't do that. I'm shot. Like my, my, I'm shot. Like, it's just go back and watch that. It's pretty in depth. And, and in all honesty, John, John also 
we talk about that a lot because there's times where John's like, I, I'm losing my mojo. I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like making this, you know, and we'll, we'll actually talk to each other and kind of, kind of work out, try to get each other back on that, that horse. Um, so take a look at that video. It's a, it's a good one. It's actually pretty deep. And um, we talk for real. We, we talk actual for real about, you know, mental issues and stuff like that. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, question for Chris and John. Christmas wish if wish if you can go into Lucasfilm archives and choose one model, which would you choose and why? That would be the sand crawler. Oh, wait, hold on. Sand crawler. Sand crawler. You can hear it. You can hear me. Question. <laughs> sand crawler. I just want to see it in person. Like, okay. I saw it in person back in 2005 or eight. Wait, it was eight at celebration three. And I was not into modeling. I was into Hasbro figures. So like the new Hasbro figures that they were showing in the glass case thrilled me to death. But I took one picture of the sand crawler in, in the museum part and I could kill myself for that. I, I wish I'd have spent a lot more time looking at that thing and taking pictures. Cause right now, if I went to a museum and saw a sand crawler or the archives, you would have a hard time getting me away from it. Easy, easy choice. Um, let's see here. Yeah. It looks a lot better than the last one. The last one looked like diarrhea. Like it looked like somebody threw up on it. Chris, will you, nope. Will you scrap panel lines or will the scale be too? Yeah, I, yeah like I said before, Michael, I, I don't want to put panel lines on. I tried it. Let's see if we can see it. So it feels like people are asking, may not have seen that last picture. So let's show that. Just to give you an idea of scale and how it kind of messes with things. Let's see, let's share screen. Let's find that picture. Two screens going here. Let's see, do I have it here? No, no. Let's see, where's that? Let me pull up this picture. Cheerios. I called it Cheerio. There it is. So, <clears throat> this was my first attempt. And I'm almost ashamed to show it. I really am. I'm ashamed to show because it's literally dog shit rolled in Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I originally started with. And like you can see, the bumps are too big, so two big, huge ones. And then the washers that I put on were the smallest washers that I could possibly find and put on my fingers to put on there. And they're just too big. And I actually did scribe some panel lines into this. But I think I covered up most of them with these. These. It, uh, oh, man. Even 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 going on it more um, deeper, it looks even worse. Holy shit. Don't judge. It was my first choice. First. First. It was my maquette. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> so there you go. It was your maquette. So that. You all, if you've still got that first droid, you started Chris hang it in your rearview mirror. <laughs> Actually, no, I spent about two hours trying to get all that shit off and killed my fingers because every like those, those beads they welded onto that thing. It, even even putting that uh, unbond stuff that I have on to get them off, dude. I I, I it was like grinding my fingers on a, a cheese grater trying to get those things off and then i thought all right well it's got a lot of glue and a lot of shit on it so i thought all right i'll use some acetone to try to get it off and try to clean it up a little bit nope the acetone started melting the plastic half sphere so no <laughs> tool itself. don't use asphalt don't use uh acetone on on um on uh these spheres if you if people don't know this is these half spheres are the half spheres are the spheres that um make up the the um tie fire 
TIE Fighter ball. Two of these together. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of people do know that. But, um, John, yeah. one of the questions prior that I wanted you to, to, um, to get involved with was yeah. um, you heard the Lucasfilm one. Uh, this one. Chris and John, question for you both. Have you ever lost your mojo, and how did you get it back? I have far too many unfinished builds and need to get back into it. Great work. Um, also, it's huge. It, it's you getting my mojo back. Oh damn! It uh, sometimes I can go like, um, yeah. How do I say? It? Maybe like watching someone else, someone else's work usually like makes me want to build. Yeah, I remember uh, Craig Lee painted a um, fine mold slate one, and I was like, damn, that was good. And that just got me straight back into like just. I didn't want you to paint something so bad. But then sometimes you'll find a kit that you've been looking for on eBay or something that that you can't progress on your on your kit bashing until you're able to get that part. And then you've got the kit and you're like, right, well, now I can move on. I can and, and putting that one kit part down enables loads more to follow on after it. You know, you know, yeah. You know, Chris, yeah. <clears throat> um Anybody, but I would say to fun usually mojo it's it's watching the work of others, yeah, right? or finding some new ref pictures of a model that you know, yeah, you didn't have before or anything like that, you know. Also, talking to your friends, like how many times have you called me and like been like, you know, I lost my mojo, you know, like and, yeah, and you know, and you and I'll talk to each other and Jason too, you know, we'll be like talk to each other and, and get ideas and you know you might hit a slump where it it um you can't figure something out and you're put it down and then you, you kind of get forget about it or, or lose your mojo and then once you figure out something then it's like oh yeah let's get back on that you know yeah exactly yeah yeah um, talking to others and that sort of thing and watch other yeah. people paint and build I don't, again, I, don't get, I don't get excited about like new resin kits coming out anymore nothing like no, that no recently I built some 3d printed stuff like the Betty from aliens. That was quite, you know, I, sometimes I see some obscure stuff like that, but I, I wouldn't mind getting, but with star Wars, I, I, there's not a resin kit of anything that could come out now that I'd want. Yeah. I want to just, I want to just scratch anything that I want now would be something that I'd want to build with original kit parts. Yeah. I, I seriously don't have any, I have one resin kit. And that was the Macquarie X-Wing. That's the only thing that, um, yeah. Having to do resin kits makes me lose my mojo. It does. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, like I, I told him, uh, we, Jason and I did a show on that not too long ago. Um, because, you know, I was really, I was really in the dumps after my dog died. Like I was just, yeah. I was a mess. And I didn't want to build anything. So, you know, I don't know. And we did a show and, and we were real about how, what, what we were talking about, you know. So go back yeah. and take a look at it. It's the one that it's called, I think it's called Back At It. It's a really cool, um, real cool thumbnail that Jason came up with. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, that, I remember that, man. That was, that was, that was tough. It was, it was, you know, and like, you know, people don't, people don't like to talk about that stuff, you know, but me, I don't care. I'll talk about anything. I'll tell you, you know, what I had for breakfast this morning, if you want, but. Do you know what kills, kills my mojo is, um, if I'm not like, you know, with it, I don't want to say like family issues, but anything that's like, yeah. Anything that I've got on my mind, paying a bill, something's late, someone's not well, family members not happy, anything like that, <clears throat> I can't escape that with modelling. People say that modelling is very therapeutic and that sort of thing, and you can lose yourself in it, which is true, but I can't do that until I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. That's strange, you know? I said that. I, I actually just said that. I said, if I'm oh, fighting with okay. my wife or I'm having a bad day, You'd think you'd be able to go into the shop and be like, "All right, cool. I'll just, I'll just work on this and get my mind off of it." I can't do that. If I'm, no, my, if I'm my, be best, my best work is when everyone's 
call around me and I'm up to date with everything and I can just concentrate on the modeling. Yeah. You don't have anything else in your mind. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people do use that as therapy and not, you know, it gets out of their mind off of the, the, the crap that's going on in their lives. But I, I can't like, I can't put the stuff behind me and just, and, and go. Yeah. Let's see here. We got more comments. We got a lot of comments on this one. Steve, Jace, uh, John. Um, you got that one. Oh, you watched the video. Okay. Watch a bit of Chris explaining painting slave one layers missing. I learned more in that vid than 40 years of reading Star Wars books. More like this, please. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's nice. That's cool. Thanks, Mike. That's awesome. <clears throat> Is that the one where Jason and I got on and we talked about my build that I did? I think that's what he's referring to. Um, that was a long time ago. I'll be sad to see that baby go. Yeah, I know you feel. I was with mine, but then was it the other day that I said that there's nothing, uh, nothing on my shelf that I look at anymore and think I wish that was back because I'm just on to the next thing. I have to say, there's one thing I wish I had back. The X. That is my x-wing yeah that's the one thing um Bertle has it and i think the reason why is because i don't have something to replace it like with slave one i i've said i think i've said this a million times i'm sure people are tired of hearing it i have a scratch build one to build you know yeah. um with you know even the ion cannon i i was looking at that the other day i was like oh i really like that it turned out really good i should build another one you know, but I can get that yeah. building. You know, that's yeah. not a big deal. <clears throat> Your build, um, all we want to build at the moment is stuff that we don't have, right? So, right. yeah. Yes. What yeah, is I your mean, next? You've, you've got uh, stuff that I've sent to you, I couldn't care less about because I know it's in your collection and, you know, you, you appreciate it. Yeah. And it looks way better in your collection than mine. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, like the the Dornian. I missed that. Yeah, actually, true. Yeah, the Dornian that you've got. Yeah. That was like, you know, that was good fun. And what the and the the, the turbo lasers. But you know, I honestly, I'm only thinking about it like now. Not normally. I'm just thinking about what's, you know, what I'm working on. Right. Um, I have to say, John, the the pieces that I got from you are some of my favorite in my collection. Like, oh, I'm glad to hear that, dude. The laser, it means even more because of you know your cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You uh, rise of my my cat, my paw, my paws. Yeah. Oh, Don, here, look. I don't, you can't see this, but I have okay, a whole. I'm turning my head, Brent. I'm turning my head. Around. I have a whole bag here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, different sure sizes. Cool. I cool. thought about putting it onto. I thought about you know adding it as a kit part somewhere. I'm gonna eventually. Um, it's just too funny not to. Yeah, I'm gonna. If they come to me, I'm gonna definitely be putting them in scratch built kit parts. Yes. That's so like, funny, dude. Hidden, you know, like hidden, like uh, the the guy climbing out of the star destroyer or the. The yeah. guy on the uh, the medical ship, yeah. Well, I used to put my son's initials on all my models, but now I've stopped doing that. So now I might be putting my cat's missing leg on them instead. <laughs> it's damn freaking funny, though. <laughs> Dude, that's... what were so you wrong. thinking when you saw that in the in the mail? I was like, "What the? F what is?" I had loads of fat chicks as well. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I did. I forgot all about that. Yeah, and I was like, "Why is then? What is? Why is he send me like?" Oh my God. And then it, and then it, like, then I remember, like, you were just. I can't remember why we were saying about that. Uh, oh, I probably, have to tell it probably can't be repeated on this stream, but um, yeah. I ha I have to tell the, the 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 fat chick story. I have to. Okay, go on. Then. Yeah. Okay. So. You know, like John and I send things back and forth, right? And I made a list of, you know, just because my memory's not great. And I made a list of the different things, you know, that 
he's sending me and I'm sending him. Right. So I, I he's like, what, what is it I'm sending you again? So I screenshot it. Right. But at the bottom of the list, on the list, I had sending him pictures of naked fat chicks. <laughs> and, and it was funny then. Okay. But then I was laughing about it when I was in bed. And I was like, what are you laughing about now? And I showed her. And she says to me, why would you send him pictures of fat chicks? <laughs> Serious. <laughs> We, we, I think we have to put a disclaimer on here that we're, that we've got nothing against ladies. Nothing large against size. larger women. Nothing against them. Yeah. This, this is funny. It, the it's joke funny. was more the fact that Chris was sending me pictures of naked ladies. That um, well, I didn't get there yet. I didn't get there yet. <laughs> you ruined my punchline. Damn it! So, uh, no, did I? Sorry, dude. Well, so in the in the next shipment I sent him, I printed up a bunch of very 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 saucy pictures. <laughs> and suck it. <laughs> it's a good job I didn't let my kids unbox it. Oh, that's a good idea. That would be bad. <laughs> I was hoping my wife didn't see me print them up too. So, <laughs> All right. All right, I'm calling that grieve lead up. That's that's as far as I want to go. I think. What do you think, John? Right. Let me have a look because I've looked once at what you're doing the whole time. You've been talking really. Let me have a look. Oh, sweet. Dude, that is night and day difference compared to the one you did previously. Night and day. Yeah. Night I can't see its gun. No, I don't have a gun on it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm that's what it's The gun would completely destroy the aesthetic of it. So it's yeah, just going to have that. legs. And I'm going to put little red fiber optics in, very, very tiny ones. But what I don't know if I'm going to do is I, I may add some of these these rivets. Not a lot because these I, I want to put the the lights inside these rivets. Have you got the have you got battleship parts on there? Yeah, one seven hundred Tamiya battleship parts. Yeah, George, uh, Rodney, Prince of Wales. Have you? Yeah, Charnhurst. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to add these little rivets because that's where I'm going to be putting the lights. Just like that. And I can do it a couple times. That's awesome, man. Uh, you're breaking up slightly, though. Am I? Can you hear me? Let's see here. We got more comments. We got a lot of comments. I think everybody just wants a free uh, model from you, John. You're breaking up, Chris. Oh, we might have to uh, re restart this. Is it you or is it me? I'm about to come back out. I'm about to um, jump out and come back in again. All right. I'll read comments. Uh, let's see. Back at it. Help me. Thanks again, again guys. Uh, I'll, you know, I'm going to put them up for people to read them too. Yes, back at it. Help me. Thanks I'm just going to jump out one sec. Okay. John's videos of the Falcon and expire was expiring was inspiring i do like the shooting the ship series chris thanks jeff i appreciate that man uh best pieces of my collection are from john yeah yeah honestly i have uh dornian laser cannon death star um crane a wing concept a wing um and uh I have an Endor ship that I haven't painted yet, but he built. So I have five of John's pieces. I want more. Hey, Andy. How's it going, brother? What's up, brother? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, shooting the ship's vids are great. And Chronicle Books look through Greebly's. Oh, Michael, stay tuned, man. We have a special uh, Chronicle book coming up. It's the uh, Jedi one. And we are going to have um, ILM model maker John Goodson on for that one. That is going to be, you better get those Greeblies accurate, Chris. Did you do a parts map? I sure as heck did not. <laughs> I could not tell you. Which, you know what, Andy? Even while I had all of those ships laying out here, right? And I'm just grabbing sprues and putting them all, putting the pieces on. 
And I got to a point where I was like, oh, shoot. I don't know which screws go with which ship. So I may have a Prince of Wales in with, uh, you know, Sharnhorst. Sh- Sh- um, I went by color a little bit, but I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, let's see. I think it's, oh, yeah, it's on John's side. He's got hamster wheels pushing his internet. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to add these little rivet holes. And they're 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 pretty light, so it's not like it's not really all that noticeable, but we're going to just make them random everywhere. Just so that I can make a couple deeper ones and light ones, make them different size. And then in those holes, I'm going to drill little hole little um Tiny holes for the fiber optics. So that the, the fiber optics are going to be really small too. They're going to be like 0.25 mil sized. Um, so that they're not like blinding you when you when you look at it, and then you'll just you'll just be like a little a little. Uh, you have to kind of like see it at an angle to, to get it. Let's see here. Did John leave us? Oh, cool. John sent some videos, some pictures. Oh, sweet. Let me, uh, let me pull those up. I may just say, you know what? I'm going to keep that, that, that hot, that hot. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, hold on. Let me pull them up. John's coming back. Let's save those. I don't want that one. John. Yeah. It looks banging, brother. Can you see me? Uh, yeah. I can okay. see you, yes. Screw the viewers. I'm keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's, I'm putting pictures up of it. Okay, man. Bring it up. I hate when I have too many windows open. Then it really screws with me. <clears throat> I need to get my setup much better than just using my phone because the front of my screen's gone as well now, so you can't even see very well what I'm doing. So I'm amazed that people have actually spent time yeah, watching. We can see it. We can see it. We actually can. I've painted there. it very old school with washes and stuff, but that's because I didn't want the airbrush going all the time. But boom, beautiful brother. There you go. Someone can have that if they want. I think we're gonna give it to Jeff. He's got the mo. He's been busy typing. Well, that's up there to you, go, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. There you go. I'm making the decision for you. <laughs> send me. Give me his. Uh, get me his address, and I'll send it over. All right. Next week finished? I'll be playing a. Next week I'll be playing my um scratch book slave one. to send me your address and I'll send it over. <laughs> <laughs> do you have out the cat's paw? I know you do. It is there. It is. Yeah, we got that. Oh, out. Yeah, love it. I might weather this next. You what? I might weather this next. I might start putting all kit parts on this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We got some more comments. Uh, amazing. Wow, it's amazing. Looks great, John. Really amazing. Uh, Michael Barnes posted, would be great if you could do a show on donor kits. All I have is 8RAD. Be great to show some of the kit parts for each studio build. Hmm. Yeah, that yeah. would be that'd be cool. It'd be difficult to do because, like, 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 there's so many of them. Like, and, and a lot of them aren't even well like known. Um, a lot of them are ID, but oh, Jeff, I definitely got to send you the, the pics too. No, 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 we're sending them. Yeah, yeah. Better warn your wife ahead of time. 
Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put some of these. I hope is that too loud? Is that annoying no. loud? Okay. Do you know, hey Chris? Do you know how how I turned the camera around yeah. on live? Because I'm only using it on like like the app sort of web page. I'm not. Mm, it just has it has things? cam on. It has the camera on and off, but there's no flicking around to the rear camera, which is what I want. You to can't get. turn it around. No. Uh, what kind of camera? What kind of phone? Do you have? Yeah, I've got a normal iPhone, but it's just the. Uh, you should be able to tap it, and there'd be like a little thing to swap it around. Oh, hang on. Can you see there my you hand go. now? I see your hand. Oh, sweet. I could have done that from the start. <laughs> you didn't know that? No. <laughs> Come on. You've been using that phone all this time. You didn't know you could do that. Oh, no. I've been, I, I can know I could use the phone, but not, I, haven't been, I haven't done it on the stream yet. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it much well, better. I'm kind of committed now. I did these long, I did these holes. I'm just. Can you see them? Can you see them? Yep. You can. Can you see the little rivets? I guess it's okay. Dude, I love the um, the King George parts on top. Yeah. <gasps> Fuck. I think I used them on mine actually. These little uh, guns up top in the circle. Yeah, can you see mine? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta. Oh, don't worry. No, it doesn't matter. No, 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 I want to see. Um, I. Oh wait, hold on, hold it still. Where are they? I can't. Oh, those circles, those those cannons yeah. with the circle with the lines going up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I use I them on the big one. By by scratch building one. Okay. Yes. Oh, they're little. Oh, shit, they're little holes. Little. Can I? Oh, I see them now. Yeah, King George got a lot. Yeah. And like I, I showed before, these these ones here are from Rodney. Did you, did you? Let me show you. These look. These these were like. Oh wow. These ones here that I found from the Rodney are like. So good for this. Um, these little like these here. Can you see them? Yep. It's a bit a bit blurry, but I think I know which ones you mean. Let me get, let me get it straight. There we go. See them? Yep. Those those were like awesome. I got a couple of those on on here. I bought two more Rodneys so I can do the bottom. Yeah, I've got so I've got so many those Tamiya ships just but I'm no way I'm always worried about what I can use out of them because um, well, well I know I finished the Star Destroyer but I never know what they're else cheap, they, though. They, are. It's, they are they are they're cheap so it's not like it's and are the vintage ones different than the current ones some of them have been reboxed um though some of them like I think oh god I can't remember now the Shinano or this um one of them you can you can easily buy the new version of, and it's not correct. Okay. But quite a lot of them have stayed. Yeah. Same. Yeah, this is going to work out good. Better than trying to glue on a hundred million little um, washers like I did in the first one. Yeah, well, that would have worked on a bigger ball, right? That would have been fine. Yeah, it'd have been big, fine on a bigger ball. So it's better to have bigger balls. <laughs> that's actually not true. I'll be honest. It's not. That's not a good thing. Big balls are not great. They're hard to work with. But yeah. it's the other part you want. It's the, it's the other part you want bigger. <laughs> ah, that one really dented in. Oh, this front one is like. Oh, I have to put that in the corner. Hold on. Otherwise, it's going to dent in. This has been a good show, Dylan. You up? It's been a good show. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm sorry. I'm What's that? 
I'm sorry I wasn't prepared enough. Well, no, that's it's fine. It worked out. You got you got a whole model done in the time we did a show. Well, there you go. Oh, really thin. I might have to like put something behind it to 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 bank to pop those holes in. It do you on your um on your uh half your Kalastrex spheres is yeah. is one side like if can you see mine? Yeah. One side is really thick. The other side is real thin. On oh no, all mine wasn't like that. Oh, it's fucking annoying. But what on on mine, uh, they were um, they curled up at the edges. They weren't smooth. Uh, so when you put the two together, yeah. you had a lip going around. Yeah. Which sucked. This is turning out pretty good. I yeah, happy. Good. So you done painting that? Yeah, I mean that's done now. I'm done. I need to go anyway soon. We need to pick up the, my little kids from school. Oh yeah, it's what time there? It's uh, five, four o'clock. Yeah, nearly. Yeah. You got a whole model done in the time I put a bunch of little warts on. It. <laughs> well, there was only about four parts to the model, so and it, yeah, it was done quickly. Well, this was a good one, Sean, and uh, we had a lot of people interacting and a lot of people watching. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I really appreciate. It. Let's see here. I'm going to go through some of these. There's a lot of comments. Um, come on, Jeff. I got to say, we got to send those. We have to. We have to. No, I won't. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, John Island style, do you prime in gray or black first and spray base color? Gray. I always do gray. Me? I like to change my, my uh, primer color. I've talked about that a bunch of times. Sometimes I'll use white, sometimes I'll use gray, sometimes I'll use black. Just because, like, like you did the at at in well, you primed it in gray. But, like, I feel like sometimes the, the primer color alters the base color. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. It does, yeah. So, like, the, the X-Wings, quite a few of them, if not all, were, were black primer. Were the Y-Wings, uh, too, right? Yeah, but, I mean, I, I, I have... How gray primer is what is is the primer I use usually because it, it's that's cheap, it's big, it's got high vo high velocity, it's strong, and that's a dark know, gray too. Is, yeah, dark gray, and it seems to work with everything that I spray over it. If I need to have a black base because they primed it in black, I'll just spray a black. Okay, but I'll always prime, prime on that gray, and then I'll spray over that black just. With like You'll the prime it and then spray it black then. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. I have to I have to put something behind this front here before I can do these. Otherwise I'll go right through it. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yes. You know what? I, oh, let me put full screen hold. On. I love that it's signed, by the way. John Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yep, a little bit of airbrush work. I put some blasts on it, and but I mean, it's just it's it's there was nothing to it. It was just three parts. So yeah. Well, Jeff, if you have if you have John, uh, you can either send him your address or send me your address. I'll get it to him. Um, beauty yeah. man. Remember to share and like the show. And yeah. And the <laughs> Jeff does that, yeah. He has the show himself too. Um, Jeff, it's a Spiced Runners Runners Lounge, right? I generally don't watch very many collecting shows anymore. I think I I think I actually won this in a competition. Did you? So I don't feel too bad about why. <laughs> I don't really know why. Like my picture is so dark compared to yours. Well, I've, I've got a lamp right over the top of mine. So do I. Like I like look. I have this thing like right, right. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I got my shop lights and then this light, and it still is like making everything dark. Oh, All right. So well, that's a good show, brother. Yeah, thank you, man. And thank you to everyone watching. Yes. We will have more with John Ross 
painting little trees in the future. <laughs> painting little turrets. Happy little turrets. Oh, I should have put that instead of happy little trees. That would have been way better. <laughs> happy little turrets. That's what it's going to be from now on. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to name the show like this live stream show, Happy Little Turrets. <laughs> Great idea, John. All right. Well, I'm going to end the live stream. And uh, uh, we, like I said, we're going to have, I don't think there's going to be anything this week. Uh, my big week's a little busy, but I think next week we're going to have um, Jason Eaton. And we're going to have um, hopefully John's, John Goodson. And I think also we may do a shoot in the ships like either Monday or Tuesday next week. Full house. So, full house. Yeah. We'll try to get a bunch, a couple things on before Christmas. Um, like it's like, bef like I've just been busy lately. So it's been tough to get on, on, on shows. So yeah. But, so this, this is a very tricky time of year, isn't it? To try and yes. This yeah, kind of thing. All right, man. Wait, wrong. Stick, around Cheers, dude. stick around for a minute. Bye, guys.